Hi, welcome back to creating a basic MVC framework in PHP. So this is episode 4 and we're going to load models. I know I said in the previous episode that in episode 4 we'll load models and views but I think it'll be better if we split them up so episode 5 will load views. Okay, so let's get started. So let's just clean up some of the stuff that I left from the from the episode 3. And then we're going to open up our load class. So the way we're going to do this is our tag new. Our base controller is going to have a protected load property. Protected load. I'm not going to put the underscore in because it'll be harder to use in the in the controllers. So we're going to have protected load property. And this load is going to be new load. So let's just pin make sure I've not made an error already. Okay. I guess that's all. So we're going to do public function model. The model is going to need the model name. So we're going to have is we're going to do model equals name dot model. Because we're using a naming convention, aren't we? So hold on. We use the naming convention, so it's posts model. So how long was it? It's just going to be name model. And we're going to need to know where, where the model is as well. So we're going to do um, model path. It's going to be site path. And then it's going to be models slash model dot php ok so we're going to do if is underscore readable model path we're going to require once model path else model doesn't exist so we can we can throw an exception or we can return false. Up to, I'll just I'll just return false. Or shall I return an exception? Oh yeah we'll return, <laughs> we'll return false. Okay. So let's let's go into our controller. So what we're gonna do is um I'll just get rid of all this here. It's gonna have this Load model because load's going to be an object, so we can keep going. It's going to be posts. Okay. So where's the load gone? If I have to check if the class exists as well. Um, model else will return false again actually yeah it will return false this could be cleaned up we could just put return false once at the bottom but oh, we could throw an exception no we'll leave it we'll leave it so now we've got two options if the class exists then we can either return new model hold on model so let's just test that. Where's our post model? I forgot to return here as well. Return, return. It doesn't make sense, does it? Right. So this we can do model equals this load model. And we can then pre model. So is it get entries? And method. There we go, because you've loaded the model here, and that's done by returning the model. Okay, so we can do it that way, or I wanted to show you a cool way, and this is why I did the registry in the previous tutorial. What we're going to do is, we're going to do registry equals registry get instance 
instance and registry name so the name that you pass here so in our case it's going to be posts so registry posts equals new model Oops. okay so obviously we're going to actually yeah we'll pass getting out of visual see it so we'll just we'll not get anything returned here so now can we access it from the registry we could do this actually pre out pre this underscore registry underscore what was it uh, posts so get entries obviously that's a very long winded and we're not really going to do it that way so you see it's loaded into the registry now so what we're going to do it is, is using a magic method so I, find, I think this is pretty cool we need to go back into our base controller go implement public function let's so, so get So get is called when a property is not found in a class. So if it's not found in a class, we're going to do um, return equals this. Um, actually, not, we'll do this. If do return equals this underscore registry key and we'll return return actually no, we'll just yeah we'll return return or we'll return false so now what's going to happen now so we can go in here and we can go pre this posts so we're going to check the registry in our base controller. If if whatever exists in the registry, then we'll return that. So hopefully, who type registry as a rate. Oh, <laughs> I'm this. Sorry about that. Right, that should fix it. So we've got a post model object in the area, so we could. Yeah, where's the index control? Posts get entries. Yep. So now we have when we load a model called posts, it goes into this posts. So if we load users, it'll go into this users. One thing that we've got to watch out for though is so if like this happens if someone overwrites get and then we'll just do Hello world. <laughs> We're gonna have some serious issues. Uh, so what I need to do to overdo that is we have to do final. So this means that we cannot override the get method in the base controller. So we'll get an error for overriding. Oh, where's that? Unless that's some basic error checking. Yeah, so I think that is all for this episode on how to load models. So obviously you'd want to probably add more to your models so you can have database access and all that stuff or Excel reading, whatever you want. So in the next episode we will uh, look at loading views. Thanks for watching. Bye.